Well, I'm on the phone with head football coach from Ellsworth, Dwayne Crawford. And, Coach, I do know your name. As I, I just called you by the wrong name, so we're going to restart. And, <laughs> oh, good Lord, it's been one of those weeks already. And, well, this is like the fifth year we've done head football coaches shows. And, I, you know, sorry. Right. <laughs> so, first of all, big news. Um, Devin Wright won the 92.9 uh, Athlete of the Week. High school athlete of the week, a, a runaway victory, and that's all due to the the fans of Ellsworth football that uh, that voted for him. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I was going to go onto the website um, this morning and check it out, and I hadn't heard. And I, I voted for him again last night. Like uh, I think you can vote up to eleven o'clock last night. Yeah, up to midnight. You, it was once an hour. And... Yeah, yeah. So I voted again at like ten o'clock, and, and I was going to go in and check. But that's awesome. Yeah, so that that's that's real good. And uh, you got listen. I mean, as I said to someone the other day, hey, here we go. I mean, Ellsworth High School four and two, and they were laughing because they they had heard the coaches show the previous week, and when when you were moaning how oh my god we had lost, and uh, and it was like coach, you're you're four and two. I mean, you know, the, it, can you remember when? You know, it was 0 and 6 all those years at this time. And, you know, it, how great it is to be 4 and 2. It is. It is great. And, and uh, um, you know, it shows with the team morale. We, like I said, we started out the season with 29 players. We still have 29 players. We have almost 29 every night for practice. Very seldomly do we not have have full attendance. And the kids are having a good time. They're having fun. And um, so it's. You know, it's been a long time coming. Um, some days I wondered if I'd make it this far, but uh, it's uh, it's it's been a lot of work. And but the the credit goes to the kids because you know when everything's said and done, we don't go out there and make the plays and the tackles and um, run the touchdowns, and they do. So it's they've done a great job this year. So uh, how has practice gone this week? You've got a real tough opponent uh, opponent in Madamac Valley on um, on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it's. I mean, we still have another work night tonight because it's a Saturday Saturday game. So our walk through is tomorrow night. Um, but it was. We had a great practice last night. Um, kids were were hitting hard and coming off the line fast, and um, we were in seven on seven. And I think it was probably the best seven on seven um, they've had. Even though we we finished up in the rain, um, but uh, it was. It's been a good practice so far this week. We've had good practices, and I'm hoping that continues tonight. And uh, um, so I think we'll be ready. The as we've said, uh, you can tell a lot how uh, the kids practice and, and the intensity as to not whether they're going to be ready or not for a Friday or Saturday's game. Yeah, I've been doing this a long time, and and uh, you can always tell if you get to have a good week of preparation and practice, then that that almost always transfers over onto game day. And if you have a bad week and kids don't understand what's going on or or know their responsibilities, then it, it always shows up on on game day. So um, you know, it's I'm, I'm looking forward to a a good outing Saturday, and and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it, it's going to be a little weird, though, playing on Saturday afternoons. I mean, everything all season long is is pushed to play on Friday night. All the the routines, uh, it, everything is normally for uh, a Friday night game. Yeah, it is, and and you know, it's it's bad enough waiting until seven o'clock Friday night. So you know, <laughs> we we work around three o'clock and go up to the walk room in the field and walk around and do all the stuff that we do pregame and and I just can't wait for that seven o'clock kickoff and now we have to wait till one on Saturday so you know it's it's one more day um, of preparation it's one more day of waiting and then you've got the bus ride at you know nine thirty in the morning and so it's a it's a different animal um, than the than the Friday night game um, you know we had the, had the one we were preparing for with Camden which we didn't play. Um, so this will be our first outing on an afternoon game and, and our only one this year. So um, it is different. And, uh, you know, hopefully the bus ride will be a good bus ride down and, and the kids will come out and be ready to play at 1 o'clock on Saturday. And I'm sure you're talking about the importance of having a, getting up early, uh, having a, a good breakfast and bringing a snack on the bus as well. Yeah, yeah. We talked to them about nutrition and, and uh, um, eating properly and hydrating and, 
Um, and they have team dinner tonight, so they'll get a lot of a lot of good food tonight. Um, but uh, it's you know it's it's hugely important that they they load up in the morning and actually on Friday night um, carb up so that they'll be ready to go Saturday afternoon. So um, <clears throat> when when my oldest son was playing and he and he and Odane Gaynor who stayed with us sure. most of the time, um, I get up at you know five o'clock in the morning because at NDI at that point we played a lot of Saturday games. Yeah. Um, and during his junior year, sophomore and junior year, we up at five o'clock in the morning, make a huge pancake and egg breakfast for him. And that's, you know, that's what you need. You need those carbs and those pro- that protein and, and to get you through because you can get on the bus and it's, you know, four hours, three hours, whatever, before you get on that field and, and play. And then another two hours, so you're not eating again until, until four thirty, five o'clock at night from breakfast. So you need to get, get as much food in your system as you can in the morning. Give us the keys to victory against Madonna Valley on Saturday. Uh, I think just playing sound football, um, everyone doing their job. Uh, you know, they, they've got their big team. Um, they've got a big offensive line. Their fullback's a big kid. Um, tailback is fast. So, um, you know, just keeping do, everyone doing their assignments, defensive ends, not letting, you know, anything get outside, setting the edge. Um, defensive backs coming up and supporting the run or, or – or getting in their um, coverage lanes on on in past game, and um, you know just doing what we've been doing all year long, and that's you know we've been practicing hard and, and knowing what our assignments are um, for for most of our games, and we just need to continue that. All right, best of luck. We'll talk to you on Monday. All right, thanks, Chris.